Yemen's beleaguered President Ali Abdullah Saleh went on state radio late on Friday to urge his forces to continue fighting, hours after being slightly injured in an attack on his palace. His opponents, too, were in no mood to give in. In the southern city of Tez, thousands gathered on Friday, chanting anti-government slogans and holding a mass prayer meeting. Explosions, too, were heard, and nearby black smoke billowed from buildings. Sources at a military hospital said three policemen had been killed in a rocket-propelled grenade attack and a further 28 wounded in clashes with demonstrators. The same source claimed two of the protesters have died, with 30 injured. The UN says it's investigating reports that 50 people have lost their lives since last Sunday as the city becomes a symbol of resistance in Yemen. But Salah remains defiant, refusing to yield to pressure and release his grip on this cripplingly poor nation after more than 30 years in power.